We're getting a closer look at self-driving trucks. We have been telling you about them. In fact, we had a story on these last night. Yeah, I feel like we're finally in the future or something. Olivia Leach was there as the Frisco Police Department was helping to increase safety procedures for the tech company behind these trucks. What would you do if you were driving down I-45 and noticed the semi truck one lane over didn't have a driver? I think it's really a natural thing to be scared of something that's new, right? Aurora Innovation is a self-driving technology company that's in the driver's seat of developing autonomous freight trucks. Currently, we haul freight between Dallas and Houston, as well as Fort Worth and El Paso, uh, for major shippers and carriers. That means for many folks in Texas, whether they're small businesses, uh, consumers, you have already received a package shipped by an autonomous truck. For now, their autonomous trucks have drivers in the front seat, but by the end of next year, Aurora's trucks will go driverless. Coming northbound, we'll get down and get turned around. Frisco Police is helping Aurora ensure their self-driving trucks are operating safely. For the last two days, officers staged mock traffic stops along I-45 in Ennis. We know how they're going to react so that we can react appropriately. And so that way they can collect the data to ensure that their vehicles on the road are as safe as they possibly can be. The trucks in these tests had drivers, but Aurora says they'll use what they've learned in the mock stops to make sure their trucks are safe and road ready once they go driver free. So our trucks have a series of different sensors that help them see and understand and, and navigate the world. So using these sensors, our trucks can recognize the police vehicles. They see those flashing lights. Frisco police says it's important for law enforcement to practice interacting with self-driving vehicles so they can be ready too. We may not see them now. We want to be prepared for them in the future. Olivia Leach, CBS News, Texas.